What's up, everybody? Today we're checking out some American Dad dark humor. Let's go. Clean myself up, right? I should go back to school. What? Oh my god, what have <laughs> what? I done? This gun? I've never even fired it before. I, and I heard Jennifer scream and everything went blank and I killed a man. Who am I to take a life? Am I beast <laughs> or man? Beast! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> What? Jeez, get you me beast. out of here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. What a mess. We've been here three generations, and now they're tearing us down to put in the new stadium. You poor old man. This lamp sucks. I'll give you two bucks for it. Mom, that is disgusting. Taking advantage of... Wait, half off this birdcage? Please, I could really use this. I foster abused birds. I'd like to put a candle in it. See? What did I tell you about the leg room in the back seat? Very roomy. And it's an extremely safe first car for your daughter. You're a good dad. Your dad's a good dad. Hey, check it out. This thing can stop on a dime. Think fast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo! <laughs> Oh! oh, if you didn't know, watching this show after all these years, Stan is 100% of Issa. The Smiths may be terrible people, but it's all because of Stan. That man said, you're a good dad. Your dad's a good dad. Well, you, sir, proved otherwise. Good dads make their kids wear seatbelts and wear one to lead by example. Click it or tick it, and also click it so you don't end up in the hospital or so one of your friends don't get in a wreck and get scared and push you to leave you dead in the street. Stan, Haley's been shot! So what? She shot me before, I've shot you a couple times, everybody shoots everybody. It's how we communicate in this family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll... Tell her you asked about her. You tell her whatever you want, but that's not how it went down. <laughs> You're 30. Help! You're doing great. Do I hear 40? Yeah, hello. 40, 45, 50. Oh, I hear 60. <laughs> Yo. 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 Son. Son. <laughs> Yo. What? Why? <laughs> that was absolutely wild and also fire pun intended talk about nature takes its course that lion said i be damned i'm getting this meal i'm getting a piece of them cheeks before i go out of here stan is lucky he's in the cia because if not he would be in prison by now it's super secluded and the main breezes stan oh my god they're curative okay main 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 Yo. Those bones look broken. <laughs> I suggest you get to Maine immediately. Son, yeah, pedestrian so crossing. Let us out of here. My family thinks I'm dead. There's gonna be hell to pay. The men seem to be thriving, Roger. I'll say. You know, if we're gonna do that little detour to Lake Champlain, which I would really like to do, the men will have to be subdued. Oh, we're doing the trip. <laughs> All right, piggies. It's watering time. <laughs> I'm free! Call for help! <laughs> Fat guy stuck. I'd like to report a fire. And where are you? Where? I'll tell you where. In a better place now than I was earlier. Um, what does that even mean? It means I gotta learn to like myself. Even if my big boy butt never comes in. You know what, kid? I think you're gonna be alright. Yeah. Yeah, me too. No! <laughs> oh, his big boy butt! <laughs> I've always wanted to eat a gorilla. A gorilla that can speak sign language. I want to eat its brain. Why? Oh, that is truly horrifying. Ah, I'm disgusted. You should be disgusted. Yeah. But I do know a guy. Now this question is a little bit unethical, but also hypothetical, not real. If you could eat one animal, what would it be? Drop it down in the comments. Wait, if you're getting out of here, could you take me with you? You have my word, Matilda. Matilda! This isn't about you. And Matilda it's not died. About me. It's about Greg. <laughs> now I really need to do my vocal warm ups. 
Me, 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 me. Nutcrack, nutcrack, nutcrack. All that is his will be mine. We did all of this. Francine got you on the air, and I abused my CIA powers to make that super storm. Ah. You made this storm? Lives were destroyed. But Greg's life was fixed. <laughs> now you've got a new work partner and a new life partner. Now kiss, you two lovebirds, and put some mustard on it. Okay. Aren't you straight? Yes, but I'm terrified of these people. They can control the weather. Yeah, my guy was never straight to begin with. He's been dying to do that. Did it with the quickness, too. All he's been waiting for was an excuse. Hey, Rabbi, I got a joke for you. Two priests are hitting on an altar boy. Uh, hello, guy who mistakenly believes he's my brother. Uh, if, if you want to hear a joke, Rabbi, I got a nice clean one. Um, uh, okay, uh, what are the three rings of marriage? The first one's the engagement ring, the second one's the wedding ring, and the third one... The suffering. <laughs> uh, true. Stan, that's not a good joke because it's not racist. Okay, here's one. So this lazy Mexican walks into an even lazier black guy's bar. You heard what he said. I know you heard what he said. So drop your best jokes down in the comments. I'm not going to ditch my friends. Sorry, you'll need to find another squash partner. Everybody at the club is paired up. And the club doesn't allow blacks, Jews, or women. That rules out my tennis partner, Rashika Greenblatt. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> what the hell is that? My zucchini casserole. Zucchini? Uh, excuse me, but this is not Italian squash. Yeah, the only thing Italian about this situation is your dirty lies. We're gonna have our faces painted like aliens and everything. Oh, white people in alien face? Running around going beep, boop, bop. Is this what you do when there's no alien in the room? Yeah. How would you feel if I made fun of you? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm human. I'm from planet Earth. Uh, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Hurts, don't it? Accurate. Joining a violent drug gang. I don't know. Raising a child is expensive. Our rich uncle could really help out. Listen to your fish. Hmm. You're not going to sell this to any white people, are you? Not directly. I'm in! <laughs> so, baby, what's your name? White people. Black Nissan. You think I'm some car valet because of my white shirt, my bow tie, my sweet vest, my foreign accent? Oh, balls. I can <laughs> smell the grass! Hang on, speakerphone! Phil, we're here! Take me back in the house! Please! Hey, Terry, hang back for a second. I gotta ask you something. <laughs> Did you picture speakerphone as... No, no, not at all. Me neither. Uh... I was super surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm a... I know Stan did not just use... to describe this man being black. <laughs> that is a hand gesture I never knew could be man. My man said he's, you know... <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Smiths are racist. He works for the CIA. Come on now. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that girl is going to have to leave. I'm just not comfortable having their kind in my house. Mom! Did you just say what I thought you said? I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave. Oh, I remember. Oh. Okay. Well, see you at school, Steve. She's left-handed. <laughs> She's left-handed. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, terrible. So, yeah, without context, that is very bad. Very, very bad. But in the episode, it was because she was left-handed and not black. I mean, your pet fish is a Nazi. Come on. From now on, your whole life is words. Hey, that's how you spell that? Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Kagma. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.